In this video, we're going to talk about taking functions and combining them together. Now, we're going to combine functions together using our basic operations. So we're going to add, subtract, multiply, and divide functions. And it's pretty straightforward in that regard. What's really new and probably the most important thing here is this idea of composition of functions over here. So what a composition of function is, is really when you plug in one function into another. So over here, you can see it looks like fog, but it's read f of g of x. And what that means is that we're going to plug a number into g of x and get an output, and that output becomes the new input for the second function, f. And that's what a composition of functions is. So down here, what we're going to do is we're just going to combine some functions all different ways. So we have f of x defined as 9 over x plus 2, and g of x is 5x squared. So it's going to ask us to subtract the functions. We're literally going to subtract them here, and we can get a common denominator and put them together. Just remember if there's more than one term on this second uh, function to spread the negativity. Here we're just dividing. Now the reason why I wrote it like this on this one is because I'm dividing a fraction, so rather than having a complex fraction, I could just keep change flip and roll from there. It's a little easier to deal with. Not to say I couldn't put it like that, but it's much easier to handle like this. So here we have our first composition. So it's probably easier in the beginning to write it just like this here f of g of x. Because what I'm literally going to do is take g of x and plug it into f. So g of x is 5x squared, so I'm going to plug that into f. So replace x in f with 5x squared, and then you would just simplify that. On 4 and 5, we're doing function notation and combinations for specific values. So on 4, I'm doing f plus g of 0, so that means f of 0 plus g of 0. Now, if, if the problem had asked me to do a bunch of f plus g's of, of an input, I probably would have, what I would have done is done just f plus g of x, got a new function, and just keep plugging into the new function. But since this is only for one value, I'll just use the two separate functions. So plug 0 into f of x, you get 9 over 2. Plug 0 into g of x, you get 0, and just add those together, you get 9 over 2. Same idea down here. We're going to do f of negative 1 times g of negative 1. So f of negative 1, plug in negative 1 for x is 9. g of negative 1, plug in negative 1 for, for x is 5. And then multiply those together. 9 times 5 is 45. So that's with function notation. Now we'll do it with given a table. So again, we're doing f minus g of negative 2. So that's f of negative 2 minus g of negative 2. So that's really asking us when x is negative 2, what's y and f? So here's f. Remember, these are really the y's for f and the y's for g. So when x is negative 2, what's the y on f of x? 5. So we get 5. And when g is negative 2, when x is negative 2 in g, we'll get 1 for x. So you're just going to subtract those, and you get 4. Over here, we're going to do f of 5. You can see f of 5 is 3. And g of 5 is 6. So we get 3 over 6, which is 1 half. On c, we're dividing. So we're doing g of 3 divided by f of 3. g of 3 is going to be negative 2. And f of 3 is going to be 0. Now, we can't divide by 0, so we would say that this doesn't exist. It's undefined, or we could say it's no solution. Either way. Now on D, we're doing a composition. So G of F of negative 2. Again, it's probably easier to write like this in the beginning to get the hang of it. So start inside out. What's F of negative 2? When X is negative 2, what's Y? 5. So F of negative 2 is 5. So literally replace that. So now I'm going to have G of 5. So now 5 is the input. So the output of F becomes the input of G. So G of 5 is going to be 6. Now down here, we're going to have f of f of 5. We're actually composing the same function. So let's start out with what's f of 5. f of 5 is 3. And then next, we're going to do what's f of 3. And you can see that f of 3 is 0. So now we're going to look at functions as graphs and do the same thing with our combinations of functions here. So a, so notice on the left, we have the graph of f, the function f, and on the right, we have the graph of the function g. So the first question asks, what's f of f plus g of 2? So we're going to split that up. So what's f of 2? So that's asking when x is 2, what's y? So we're going to look at the f graph. When x is 2, what's y? And we can see it's 4. And now for g, when x is 2, what's y? We can see it is also 4. So we're going to do 4 plus 4 which is 8. Now on B, we're going to do a 
composition of functions. So let's start with g of 4. So when x is 4, what's y? We can see it's 2. So now we're going to do what's f of 2. You can see the output becomes the new input. And again, f of 2 we already did is 4. On part C, we're just dividing them. So what's f of 5? So go to this graph. What's f of 5? We can see it's 4. And what's g of 5? We can see it's 1. And 4 over 1 is 4. Lastly, we have f, of, f times g of 7. So f of 7 times g of 7. We can see that f of 7 is negative 2. And we're multiplying times g of 7, which looks like it is positive 3. So we're going to do negative 2 times positive 3, and that's negative 6. So that's a look at combining functions and composition of functions.